Um, the Beckhams, they're furious. Tell us more. Right. What has happened is that uh, Megan uh, has decided, who is paranoid about leaks and everything else. She believed that Victoria Beckham, believe it or not, was ringing up journalists on various newspapers and leaking stories about Meghan and Harry. Um, Harry then decided to take the bull by the horns and ring up David Beckham and say, basically, you know, we hear that Victoria's leaking stories and David Beckham uh, was not at all happy. In fact, as it's been described now, he's absolutely furious that they have been accused uh, like this. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. Can you imagine the Beckhams rigging people up to sort of give tittle-tattle about their friends? So their friendship's over, uh, so much so that, as you know, the Beckhams attended the wedding, Harry and Meghan's wedding in 2018, but the Sussexes were not invited to um, the wedding of their son, Brooklyn, and nor did they, nor were they invited to the big football match where a number of big celebrity names were when Lionel Messi, or Lionel Messi, sorry, uh, made his debut for David's, uh, David's um, American football team. Oh, I just seem a bit ridiculous. Victoria Beckham, I'm sure she's got better things to do than ring the lights of you, Charles. Well... <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm sure she. I'm sure she has. But it, this is just symptomatic of what has been going on in the Sussexes' lives. And if you look at the list of people that no longer have any form of relationship with uh, the Sussexes, and we are talking about A-list celebrities: the Obamas, George Clooney, Katy Perry, um, and Maria Carey. Uh, it, it is. It is quite incredible. And there's even suggestions that. Um, a political um, a governor of California even blocked Meghan's calls because she was trying to get some sort of advice or information about a political role for her. That's speculation, but there certainly seems to have been something going on in that direction. And of course, let's not forget, she's also gaslighted, or as the Mail uh, have said this week, markled her own father. She hasn't spoken to him since before the wedding, and Harry's never even met him. And Charles, just briefly, let's stick with the theme uh, of Prince Harry, because the judge has now concluded in that phone hacking case uh, that part of his claim can go to court, and it's the private investigators' part that's actually going go to go to trial. Yes. Um, the, the, well, the big thing, of course, is the, 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 the phone hacking part. That is dead in the water. That is, the judge has ruled that that cannot go ahead. Um, but the uh, uh, illegal uh, information gathering by private investigators and journalists can go ahead. Now, that case isn't likely to happen much before January. I mean, I look forward to hearing what sort of evidence Harry has got about this, because I can only talk about my time, you know, at The Sun. When we did stories about people, it's very much like you guys as journalists, you, you got information, you went and to the source, or you went to people who knew about it, you got the information. I've never had a private investigator i wouldn't even know how to go how to go about it we, we did it ourselves so if he's saying that journalists did this i don't believe it private investigators i've never heard it it certainly didn't happen in my day